how do you say no to a drink without over explaining yourself? I feel like no thank you is not enough. I'm just wondering how to have better boundaries. All right. So how do you say no to a drink without over explaining yourself? Because no, thank you does not feel like enough. Such a good question. So one of the things that we hate to say as human beings is no. (laughs) So I would say something like, yes, I would love an iced tea. I need a little pick me up or yes, I'd love some water. I'm really dehydrated. And then maybe something else later. And so if you can say yes to a drink, it actually removes the uncomfortableness of saying no. Also notice that the people who are not comfortable with you saying no in any way, shape or form are often the people who have issues with their own drinking. And they might not demonstrate it like very overtly, but I promise you that people who have no issues in their own drinking, they don't really care what other people are drinking. And people who have problems with their own drinking or are curious about their own drinking or internally doing what all of us are doing and judging themselves and feeling isolated in it, they feel very threatened when somebody else says no to a drink because they say, I I remember this for me. I remember a friend of mine who I drank with all the time. She's like, no, I'm not drinking anymore. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, What does that mean about me? Like I drink with you. And so usually their reaction to you is only being interpreted interpreted through their own discomfort. And because it means you're holding up a mirror. You're saying, well, hey, I looked at it. You might need to look at it too, no matter how nicely you want to say no. So that's sometimes why, you know, a no thank you might not be good enough for somebody. But the conversation at the end of the day gets as much energy and attention as you allow it to get. We truly teach other people how to treat us all the time. And so if you're like, oh, no, thanks. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I don't know. I just, I'm just trying to not drink as much right now. Like they're going to use that as an invitation to twist your arm and say, hey, wait a second. No, no. They literally will think it's their job to convince you to have a drink. But if you're like, no, thanks. No, I'm just feeling better not drinking and you just stop it, they'll be like, oh, okay. You can have a closing statement instead of an opening statement. And it might not even be the statement, but it might be your tone of voice. Another great thing to do is just to already have a drink in your hand. That's one of my favorite tricks is because people don't actually care what you're drinking. They just care that you're drinking because they assume it's alcohol. (laughs) So I would go, you know, I would even do something like in the early days when I was feeling really uncomfortable. Well, this was actually when I was pregnant. It wasn't after I stopped drinking officially, but when I was pregnant and I didn't want people to know somebody would come around and order drinks. And I'd be like, yeah, I'd like a vodka tonic. And then I'd walk up to the waitress. I'd be like, I'm going to the bathroom. I'd walk up to the waitress. I'm like, Hey, hold the vodka on that one. And all the rest of them. And she would, she would just bring me tonic water. And I remember some of those nights, people being like, wow, Annie, you really need to cut yourself off because I was just so, um, so, you know, being myself and, and that was just fine. But the reality is the conversation can expand or contract to how much energy you put into it. And you can make that no, no, thank you. I'm good. You can make it a closing statement. 